Good evening to all my wonderful viewers out there and welcome back to another unboxing video. The series where I unbox my various streetwear, sneaker and sometimes even jewellery purchases on the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the little haul that I've done of Uniqlo JW Anderson chambray shirts. Well, okay, I was about to say I could finally unbox these, but I've actually got to do something else. Thanks to you guys. <laughs> so over the past couple uploads, uh, I, I talked about that we'd hit some crazy milestones over the past couple days. And then I asked you guys if we could hit the next subscriber milestone of 3,550 subs, which was literally one sub off what we were currently at at the time of me asking. And between me uploading that video and between me recording this current video where you guys came through <laughs> and helped the channel reach the subscriber milestone of 3,550 subs. So I, I had to do it. I have to do it. I have to come out here and thank both the public and private subscribers for subscribing to the channel, supporting the channel. Thank you guys for your continuous support. It means a lot. Uh, and yeah, I've got to uh, update our little a little subscriber milestone badge here. So thank you guys for 3,550. Please ignore that very, very wonky five towards the end there. <laughs> um, it's, it's yeah, it's awesome to see us hit these milestones even right at the end of the year. So goodbye to 3,525 and hello, to the new milestone of 3,550 subs guys. This is fantastic to see. Thank you so much for the continuous support. 3550, amazing, amazing. Uh, what am I gonna set just before the end of the year? Well, we got a couple days left. Uh, you know, we, we, we gotta keep striving for better and better. Can we hit 3555, 3555 subs before the end of the year? Look, I believe in you guys. I think with your continuous support, we can reach 3555 before the end of 2022. Okay. Now we can kind of get into this, guys. <laughs> so what I have here is a little hold that I've done from Uniqlo on some discounted pieces that I picked up due to a recommendation from one of you guys in the comment section. So what happened was, is a couple uploads ago, I did a video talking about my style now in 2022 and where I kind of want to push it moving into 2023. And what I really mentioned in that video to kind of summarize it is my style currently, what I see about my style, etc, etc. And then I dived into where I want it to head. And the three directions I wanted it to head in 2023 is to continue with that uh, streetwear look that I have, um, continue with that uh, Americana, Japanese Americana look but also look into American prep wear for winter and stuff like that. So that very, you know, like Ralph Lauren cashmere chain uh, link sweaters with, you know, like a trench coat and a beanie and that kind of look for winter. But um, yeah, I also asked in that video if you guys have any recommendations on what pieces I should be looking out for for any of those three styles leave them in that comment section below. And one of you guys came through, uh, a, a person by the name of Larry D came through in the comment section below and said that uh, chambray shirts would fit that classic Americana look, uh, Americana and workwear look, they also age really well. And like at the time as well of that comment, I was also looking a lot of, at a lot of outfits that John Mayer does for inspiration. I was looking at a lot of capital lookbooks and a lot of like scanned in PDFs of their magazines and whatnot. And I completely agree, completely agreed with what Larry was saying here. So I was like, yeah, I should look into getting some chambray shirts because I don't have them. And there are just a lot of examples when I was looking at like John Mayer's outfits, for an example, where he was wearing single colored, like faded tees and whatnot. And then he was just wearing like a chambray shirt over the top of it. But he was also wearing a lot of outfits that had like single colored tee that was super washed out a chambray shirt and then like a kimono or a really nice trench coat over the top of it like a like a more kimono style trench coat I would also say as well and I was thinking well I've already got a couple examples of that kind of outwear in my wardrobe so I feel like having some chambray shirts would just add to it and definitely like help out the wardrobe that I want to build moving into 2023 so I went searching I went searching for some chambray shirts the first ones that came up was like 
RN Williams and like a lot of other expensive brands and like, well, not really expensive, but they were like mid a hundred and something Australian dollars. And I was like, look, this is a silhouette that I haven't dived into at all in my wardrobe. I kind of want just like a, like an easy slide into this, uh, into this silhouette that I've never worn before. And of course I went to Uniqlo. <laughs> I was like, let's just go check it out. Let's see if they have any chambray shirts. I'm, I'm sure that they do. And maybe I can just pick up some like nice cheap ones that I can like try out, see if I like it. And then I can dive further down into that aesthetic. Well, it was lucky that I was looking at that exact time because when I looked, there was the sale that was going on. There were some JW Anderson and normal just Uniqlo chambray shirts on sale and the only sizes left extra small and extra large and i was like you beauty <laughs> that's me obviously not the extra small but the extra large let's go <laughs> so yeah I, I obviously picked a couple of them up so um i picked up three of the jw anderson ones they're an oversized one that's a short sleeve and then I picked up one uh, extra large long sleeve one that's just a normal Uniqlo, not collaborative one. So we'll have two different silhouettes to try out here. We'll have the JW Anderson oversized one and the long sleeve normal fitting Uniqlo one. So we get two different looks. Both are extra large and I think both are the similar color, but there may be a slight color difference when I actually get them all unboxed and showcased to us there, but at least we'll get the two different looks of the silhouettes. Uh, I'd like to shout out Larry D for leaving that comment. It was very helpful and I'd like to thank him for it. If you guys have any other recommendations on some other silhouettes I should be looking into for that Americana or American workwear look, comment section below like Larry did. Go for it, guys. But um, yeah, now that we've got it here, now that I've explained how I've come to it, where I picked them up, what I picked up, we got to start unboxing it, guys. Let's get into this and start unboxing this uh, little JW Anderson and normal Uniqlo as well, uh, chambray shirt haul that I've done. All right, let's get into this. Let's unbox these chambray shirts. Um, yeah, I, if like I really do like the silhouette, I think it'll definitely be one that I'll like either be very happy with what I've, I've picked up here from Uniqlo or I'll go down that like more expensive route and have a look at Iron Williams. But then maybe also have a look at Capital because I've gone through Capital's like short sleeve and long sleeve shirts. And they have some really fun ones there with like some added just like different details you don't see on a lot of other chambray shirts and whatnot. Um, we'll just really, really have to see um, with this one here. Now that that's all done and dusted there, we'll open that one up. Okay. Bam. <laughs> a little bit of a darker color than what I'm wearing at the moment. I was going to see if that would actually work, me wearing it as an underlayer to this one, but it might. I'll see how, yeah, I'll, I'll try and blend it and see how it works, see what I've got going on. But let's get a couple of them out. So, this, does this one say which one it is? This one is the chambray long sleeve. Okay, this is the long sleeve one. Here we go. That's the kind of color that we've got there. Contrast white stitching across the details there. So then this one, well, I mean, that one's quite obvious as soon as I picked it up, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously this one is the JW Anderson one right there. Um, again, white contrast stitching seems to be an ongoing trend for uh, chambray shirts. A um, little bit more of, and then there we got it mentioned. We got oversized shirt, short sleeve, looking nice, I like it. Um, yeah, well, let's get into it. The rest of them that are in this box are just repeats of the uh, JW Anderson one because I bought a couple of them. They were over 50% off, I think, at the time of me buying them. Um, so they were like 20 or 30 bucks each. So I bought a couple of them. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Let's unbox the first one. We'll go with the long sleeve one and get that one out. I'll, I'll of course showcase all of this on body as well so you guys can have an idea of how it's all going to look but we will get that open chuck that down here okay so whew, i reckon the i reckon the extra large will work a very nice color though double pocket detailing very uh work shirt-esque definitely in line with what um larry was talking about with a very classic american work where look there is the color of it there, Just showcasing it to the best I can. Um, I'll put that one down here. 
opening up the GW Anderson one, which has a bit nicer packaging. That's some favoritism that I'm seeing towards the JW Anderson packaging there. <laughs> okay, we'll get that one. Take the collar out. Okay. So, very similar, if not the same color to, I mean, look, I would say the colors are pretty damn close. Maybe with the lighting, you could see that the uh, short, the long sleeve one is a little bit different from the short sleeve one, but Colors basically the same. Uh, of course, that iconic blue though. Here it is here, short sleeve. Um, I was kind of expecting the sleeve to be a little bit longer, um, but we can work with that. We can work with that. Um, on the model, it kind of looked like they were going to be kind of like how my capital baseball jersey is down to my um, elbows, but that's all right. We can see JW Anderson Uniqlo branding on the tag there. Bam, done and done. And the extra large, the oversized one, I mean, just looking at it like this doesn't look as oversized compared to that. But maybe I'm getting the wrong impression. I don't know. We'll have to try them out and see how it all looks. Well, now that we've unboxed both of these silhouettes that I'm going to be showcasing today, let's try them on. Let's see how the long sleeve one looks. And then we'll move into the JW Anderson short sleeve one to see how that one looks as well. Okay, now showcasing the first one here, we have the long sleeve one. This is the non-collaborative one, just the regular one that Uniqlo has in stock. They have it in two colours. Um, this colour is colour number 67. I don't know if that helps at all, but I think on the website it has the two different colour options as a number. And this one is number 67, if you guys want any reference to it. But just a simple, very easy chambray shirt right here double pockets as always nice dark blue color very lightweight i went with the extra large with this one i'm around six foot five six foot six whatever it may be these days uh, around about 115 kilos um so quite tall quite a big lad but in all honesty i think the extra large is perfect they don't they didn't offer a 2xl on the australian store i don't know if they do offer it in like the us store or anything like that but i honestly think like i wouldn't need to change sizing for this one i think the extra large one fits quite nicely i'd love to hear your thoughts on it but yeah i was really like thinking man i was like oh, i don't know like this this capital denim jacket maybe not this one because it's the the first jacket and it's a little bit short but like you know i could pull out would it be too excessive to do like a capital feather jacket with this? Would it? This is what I'm going to enjoy doing though. I'm going to try and like style it with the already existent denim that I already have and see where we can go with this. Cause I feel like there's some fun that can be had here. Um, there's a couple other capital ones or outwear pieces that I have that like, yeah, I definitely think that I could like pair it with, but like, that's the fun. That's where I'm cause like, in all honesty, this is a very basic, just overshirt or layer, but it's more so just another layer that I can add towards an outfit and take it from there. And I'd be interested in getting more capital kimonos and jackets from them, and then having this underneath as a second layer, and then having either like the Uniqlo tank top that I have underneath uh, on as already, or just like a shirt, a, uh, a Uniqlo shirt that I have. And yeah, I could definitely see some things coming out of it. Like I could see it working quite well. Um, I feel like now this is a very basic outfit, but if I went with more accessories that were uh, aligning with a classic Americana, like wide brim hats, maybe some scarves, um, maybe some bandanas, you know, maybe like around like the forearm or something like that, or even just around my neck. Um, you know, that would be like the spice. That would be like what you would need to elevate it from just like this very basic, nor uh, like normal looking outfit to something more down that American workwear look. But I think this is definitely a very good layer for me to have if I want to do those outfits. And I think Larry was right in saying that, that like chambray shirts are like a good go-to and they age really well with you as well. Like you'll just, it, they work better as you get older as well. Um, yeah, really good solid recommendation there. I don't think there's anything in these pockets and they are actually usable pockets by the way They didn't cheap out at all, but um, 
yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, nothing in that one. No further pockets anywhere else. Doesn't need to be. But yeah, definitely like a fun, well-fitting layer that Uniqlo has done just as like a normal one. Um, it'll be interesting to see how the oversized short sleeve JW Anderson one works. And now with this one, I'll have a good metric to use that I can actually measure and everything like that when I wanna buy chambray shirts from other brands. And like, as I mentioned at the start of the video where I was kind of keen to already explore into what Capital has to offer, um, they have their measurements listed on their website. So if I wanted more exotic chambray shirts or ones with extra details and stuff, I'll be able to use the measurements of this to go off like which size I'll be in Capital's ones. So there's a lot of good things coming out of me picking this up. Um, and it, like, you know, like it lets me explore that style more. I can use it as a template to expand to, you know, brands I already love and go there. Yeah, great, fantastic. No, really nice colors. I like this one here. Um, I'm definitely gonna see if I can wear it with some denim, but maybe not in summer because it is damn well hot right now. It was 30 degrees yesterday. It's like mid to high 20s today. Might have to save it for a bit of a, a rainy day or maybe, you know, well, not a rainy day, but a colder day for sure. Um, well, now that I've showcased this one, let's go check on the short sleeve one with JW Anderson and see how that one looks. Okay, I think I've already liking the JW Anderson one more for summer because the sleeves have been cut off. They're oversized, so they're not sticking to me. The, the long sleeve one wasn't sticking to me, but like in this heat, I'm already kind of like, I don't want anything tight or touching at all. So if, it's, if it can be as loose as possible, that's ideal. And I'm kind of feeling that with this one. <laughs> um, as for the other oversized aspects of it though, I mean, I didn't check the length, but I feel like the length is the same. The width doesn't feel like super, super wide compared to like the, the other, the long sleeve one I just tried on. So the oversized aspect might just be to do with like the like wide sleeves, um, the sleeves coming down to the elbow or something. I don't know. I don't really know what kind of, where they were going with the overs oversized aspect of it, but Hey, look, if you wanted confirmation, the normal one's going to fit you just as well as the oversized one. I think there's your determination though. I feel like they do just fit quite similar, if not the same, but I do really like the detail of not having like long sleeves, mainly because of the summer, mainly because of the weather at the moment, but this is a really nice overshirt to have. Um, would it be too much if I wore my Capital baseball jersey over it? I don't know. I mean, we could always like try it out so this is obviously one of my favorite outwear pieces that i'm wearing at the moment the capital baseball um jersey um the capital country one i unboxed it on the channel so you can definitely go check out that video and see how that turned out and how i went through the process of getting that uh, it kind of feels kind of redundant doesn't it because they're both like short sleeve and really the only thing i'm adding to it is like the darker blue collar and unless i kind of like Pull it back and then pull this forward and kind of kind of work it this way the layering aspect doesn't like this doesn't really add anything to it does it i think i would need like more of an outwear piece that is quite different in silhouette to be able to have this work because something like this i don't feel like is working no i'm gonna have to try some other things out i'm gonna see how it looks with with other silhouettes and other jackets like the jackets that I have behind me there. I think it's going to be a good thing to try out there. But um, yeah, okay, well, I'll save that for off camera trying it with all the different silhouettes that I have to see which ones work and which ones don't. <laughs> but yeah, out of the two, I think this is going to be my preferred one for summer. I think it's just going to fit really nicely and work really well for those hotter days. Um, the material is really lightweight. It doesn't feel like denim. It feels a little bit lighter than that um, that capital baseball jersey that I've been wearing over the past week. So yeah, um, I definitely recommend them. If they're available in your region with Uniqlo, I recommend them picking them up if you are going down that American workwear route that I am looking to go down as well. And if I end up enjoying these a lot, then obviously I'll go down the more expensive route with some brands that I think are really interesting and have a little bit more flair to it. But at the moment, as for like a taste tester, I think these Uniqlo ones are really good. I mean, as I'm always saying, you know, and as a lot of, you know, fashion content guys are saying, Uniqlo is a really good place to like try out a silhouette and then move on from there if you wish. If you even need to, or you can just stick with the Uniqlo one 
and use that one, which is basically what I've done with all my shirts for the longest time and uh, potentially now even my chambray ones, I don't know. <laughs> we'll have to see. But um, yeah, that's it showcased on body guys. That is the long sleeve one showcased as well. I'd love to hear all your thoughts and opinions on which one you think is the better fitting one, which one is the better one, um, down in that comment section below. And there we go guys, that's them both unboxed, uh, well both silhouettes that I bought, the uh, JW Anderson short sleeve oversized chambray shirt, and then the normal Uniqlo long sleeve one. Uh, my preference, probably gonna go to the short sleeve one, I'm really liking that at the moment, and um, yeah, I'm already on like the creative train and like getting in some inspiration from some other people on like how to style them to make them make the outfit more exciting and I think John was a really good example of that because he was wearing just like single colored really lightweight scarves not even like around his like neck well not wrapped around his neck but just like hanging down underneath or alongside the the collar and the um, button-up uh, area of the chambray shirts and that was really nice and then he had his necklaces and other accessories doing the details so I think that's something I can look into and I think these are gonna look a lot nicer wearing it with denim and doing you know some nice washed out blue denim um, I've got quite a few bits of denim uh, in my wardrobe and then also I've actually stockpiled some uh, vintage ones that I've picked up from eBay which I haven't unboxed yet um, I bought those like many months Months ago planning to do a video on them like towards the end of this year so maybe it's the time to crack them out and see how they look with these shirts but um we'll have to see but all in all very happy for this to be my introduction to this type of silhouette when this comes to this shirt uh, i think i'm going to be wearing this a lot in summer because it is actually just a really nice uh secondary layer to chuck on um that yeah they can just like spice up an outfit because i definitely do need to invest in more over shirts work shirts and button-up shirts for summer because obviously in this time you know you can't wear a lot and that's why next year i'm also really looking into getting more capital um all over floral shirts probably some more stussy rayon ones as well um yeah it should be interesting i like i definitely want to dive into it more and get more of that look going on um it should be fun should be a lot of fun moving forward but uh yeah i would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on these chambray shirts or if you have any other recommendations for that type of style uh drop all your thoughts down in that comment section below and of course if you guys want me to keep unboxing and showcasing my various pickups you've just got to give me the three indicators i always ask you for which is a like on this video a comment in that comment section down below and if you haven't already a subscribe to the channel uh, as mentioned in this upload we've hit the subscriber milestone of 3550 subs before the end of the month we're now aiming for the new milestone of 3555 subs before the end of the year hopefully with your guys continuous support you know that's five subs less than five days I believe in you guys. I think we can hit the milestone before the end of the year. Hopefully with your guys' continuous support, we can do it. But that's everything I got to say about these shirts, guys. Uh, you may see them prop up in a top five video when I talk about my favorite pieces that I'm rocking in the month. Because yeah, I think moving forward, I will be rocking them quite a bit in the summertime, or at least I hope to. Uh, I'd love to hear what you have to say about them. And if you own them yourselves, what your thoughts are on them. But until the next unboxing video, until the next Uniqlo video, until the next Streetwear Talk video in general, guys, I'll catch you later.